Greetings from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Thank you, Honorable Marfo, for the very warm welcome and kind introduction. Honorable Members of Parliament and distinguished colleagues, the year 2023 holds great significance for holding various actors accountable for climate change action. The UNFCCC Global Stock Take is underway this year, a process aimed at periodically reviewing the collective progress of all parties towards achieving the long-term goals of the Paris Agreement. The findings of the Global Stock Take will establish a baseline, provide guidance to parties on the actions needed to achieve the Paris Agreement's long-term goals and identify specific areas where additional efforts are required. The Accountability Summit for Parliamentarians recognizes that parliamentarians are equally seized with the responsibility of ensuring climate change accountability, particularly in ensuring that those in power prioritize the well-being of their communities and act in their best interests. As we continue to witness the devastating effects and impacts of climate change in our communities and around the world, the incentive to act is greater than ever. The summit aims to bring together parliamentarians from around the world to assert their position on the most effective ways to promote climate change accountability and at the same time drive meaningful action towards a sustainable future for all. Recognizing the essential role and responsibility of parliaments, we have initiated the Accountability Summit for parliamentarians to urge action from those whose nationally determined contributions and disease fall short of limiting the global temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The CVF has published a traffic light assessment report and is working on an online toolkit which will ultimately provide us with data assessing countries NDC alignment to 1.5 degrees Celsius and their fair share contribution to global emissions from 1990 to date. The preliminary data in the traffic light report indicates that the world's largest emitters are responsible for 80 percent of global carbon emissions and they need to adopt updated NDCs that are reflective of achieving the 1.5 degrees Celsius limit by 2030. The United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction UNDRR, is currently conducting periodic review of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. The second theme of the Accountability Summit particularly aims to determine further actions parliaments and parliamentarians can take and should take to scale up disaster risk reduction, building on the priorities identified in the political declaration of the mid-term review of the Sendai framework, which will aim to reaffirm the commitment by global leaders to the full implementation of the Sendai framework's priorities for action and to accelerate progress on integrating disaster risk reduction into policies, programs and investments at all levels. The third theme of the Accountability Summit will assess the lessons that may be learned from the USD 100 billion per year by 2020 promise, which unfortunately has not yet been met. Emphasis will be placed on what improvements ought to be made in setting the new collective quantified goal in the context of meaningful mitigation action and transparency on implementation. The new goal must focus on ensuring that the international financial system and ecosystem is suitable for promoting and supporting positive action towards addressing climate change in developing countries. Most significantly, the key questions that ought to be addressed when assessing climate change accountability lies in determining what obligations have been created, who is accountable and to whom, how is compliance assessed and what are the consequences for non-compliance. Without adequate responses 
to these questions, climate change commitments may be relegated to a mere box checking exercise. And this is of course something we all do not wish to see. We thus encourage all parliamentarians within our network and beyond to continue engaging with these processes to ensure that the commitments made are realized at the pace required. As parliamentarians, we are well positioned to identify shortcomings within the various international and national processes and to encourage corrective action across the spectrum of climate action. On that note, I am sure we will have a very successful meeting today which will provide further direction for the months that remain for a successful summit. I thank you all and I am very pleased to hand over back to you Honorable Marfo.